Hello everyone and I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the game between India women and Australia women. The first game is going to be played at DY Patel and there's no prizes for guessing who we are supporting with the colors that you can see on your screen and on our t-shirts. And on that note we'll begin today's preview and it's a five match T20 series so really yes. looking forward to this. Whoever is following me on Twitter knows how avidly I follow the Indian women's team. Nikhil bhai, what are your thoughts and how do you feel this series is going to pan out and what's the score line that you think is possible? It's too early to think about the score line to be very very <laughs> honest. Uh, I think one thing is very evident, Australia haven't lost enough. Uh, but when mm-hmm. they have, they've lost to India. So that is something to just keep in mind uh, and not be... See, in fantasy, it's very easy to go with your emotions, but you need to be a bit mm. more practical as well. So probably 6-5 in favor of Australia, but it is the players that you pick. Uh, both these sides have a lot of options in terms of all round. And mm. uh, in whatever recent game that we've seen in, in any formats, people are happy to experiment. One I will be on the World Cup coming up in early next year which is in mm. South Africa. So, see, I'm not saying it may not happen, but you could potentially see Pacers bowling or winners bowling at the end as well. So, I first mm. for the series, take it a bit slow, as we always say. Make multiple combinations in the first match, best match to do that. Once that is done, yes, everybody will then know everything. But then that's when you will be able to predict the game far more mm. because there are a lot of players that are missing from both sides. So, uh, I mean the standard ones that you uh, that you want to say. All right, will be a very interesting series to watch. And on that note, first up, let's look at what venue conditions we have in store. So the game is going to be played at DY Patel Stadium, and these are the ground dimensions that were on offer at the stadium during the IPL. But keep in mind that because it's a women's game, there is a possibility of the uh, dimensions being pulled in about 7 to 8 meters. So that is one thing for you to keep in mind. And here we can see longer pockets and you can see uh, the square boundaries are relatively decently sized. It's not a short ground, short boundary on any side yeah. from any perspective. So Nikhil, why, how do you see the pitch playing here? Will it be similar to the IPL? Uh, it, 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 it should be, but it's a different time of the year now. Uh, so again, First games will always be very handy. Start times are very important for most of these games. Uh, they aren't too many legs players, but both teams have uh, have won. Alana King is there. You have uh, Vaidya, who we'll, we are very keen to see if she gets a game. So they will always be in the game because of the boundary sizes. Even if they are pulled in, you'll still need to hit well to clear them out. So I think those mm. will be important. Pacers have historically done well at the venue. So let's see if that continues. If there's early movement, we know what Anuka Singh can do. So uh, let's see how that shapes up because getting that lady up top, Elisa Hill, is going to be very critical for India to set, set the tone in the power play. Yes, she's troubled us on occasions more than once. So it will be interesting to see who is matched up against her to get that wicket. And let's see what is the base team that we have set up for you in this game. So this is the base team like you can see and we have gone with five batters. Now that might be a slight surprise to you based on whatever we have currently spoken. But some key things for you to keep in mind, Harman Preet Kaur can bowl. Elise Perry has bowled decent amount of overs throughout the WBBL. So these two guys are not practically just uh, batters. They are also going to contribute with the ball. And Jemima, if she plays, while she did have a short lean patch recently in the internationals that she's played, she's looked impressive. And she also has had a lot of game time against Australia and with all these Australian players in the WBBL. And the same goes for Mandana. And hence, it becomes difficult for you to drop any of them. Nikhil Bhai, uh, I'll not ask you if you want to pick anyone more, but I want to ask you if you want to drop one of these batters, who would it be? So I'm going to be a bit biased here in terms of uh, I'll pick more batters from the side that is batting first is what I feel for now. So if India bat mm. first, Jemima will definitely be in my team. And same is the case with Australia for Beckham. What I might be tempted to see once we have the information on the toss and the lineup is maybe I'll want to stack in more 
spin bowling all rounders depending on the wicket mm. uh, because that way you have to be very sure of perry and harman bowling and you often see that that sometimes it's very random this mm. year has been of randomness uh, devon thomas has taken a test wicket sorry i cannot go by not <laughs> mentioning that in any video that we do today so that is how you have to visualize firstly who do you think is going to play very important because both these sides have enough all rounders lower down the order who could contribute with both bat and ball they may not always bowl four but they could bowl two and see i'm i'm not sure how many of you relate to it but i feel in women's cricket it is lot tougher to leave out an all rounder because when they get one wicket they usually end up taking two three uh it's it's very common here because sometimes the bowler just has the good over others you could take the example mm. of bregan shoot when she does that uh eclis turner's that that alana king is done that just jonathan does that while bowling first so you often get uh, tahu did that in the recent game against bangladesh i think so you will see that happening with many such games they take one they could suddenly take two three in an over so you have to be very sure that if you're leaving an all rounder out for a batter that hmm. batter has to be good enough for you to give you enough points so i think from this slide i'll probably have three of them for sure uh i don't think i'll drop call i don't think i might risk mandana while batting first has been a pattern that was uh, my next so, question <laughs> yes yeah, so maybe that is a risk there but again you have to be very sure who is going to start for australia she at times has found it harder to really close the ball if it's in, into her and, and and that sort so tactics everything is important maybe you mm. might not leave her out in your small league but in grand league you can leave her out and bet muni i think muni and rodriguez will stay the bat first mm. very if she's bowling i'll definitely have her right and another key point for you to keep in mind is because it's the first game here while we are not too sure about conditions what we saw through the ipl is as the season went ahead the pitch got slower and spinners did get help this is the first game here so maybe that would not be the case and hence batting could enjoy at the start of the series and hence when you see the all rounders we have gone with two in ashley gardner and dipti sharma now one key point again for you to keep in mind with ashley gardner she plays a lot of those short square and that will be a slight challenge here even if there's a slightest of grip so the reason for making a captain is while that might be a challenge for her she also bowls and she bowls off spin which can be very handy and she might also end up bowling up top to smithy which is a high possibility yep and we talked about jonas and here as well so yeah that as i said you have to calculate the number of options that do the two teams are and then you can definitely take your risk because there are plenty of good options and if you followed the recent women bpl you will see okay, okay how do you have five batters and just two all rounders but yeah it's a call that you can take based on how you visualize yes absolutely and in the bowling we have gone with alana king renuka singh and megan shoot now one key point for you to keep in mind is just jonathan and radha yadav both are the kind of bowlers who can come in and bowl at the death so maybe one of those two whoever is bowling first can be a pick candidate for you and then in that case you can adjust that out with the batting so i guess that is one key point which you should keep in mind apart from that we have tried to cover most of it in the base team yep pretty much Yes so that is the base team for you and now let's look at what grand league options we have for this one So Nikhil bhai who are your grand league picks for this game Ha first game is always tricky but I'll uh, I'll go with Alana King from Australia I feel she is someone who's very good in her had some trouble with leggies as well in the past hmm. they could potentially play her out as well but if they don't get her out of the way she is going to take at least 2 3 and again it's important to see when they bowl when they use her so if if you want more options in that sense if jess johnson is bowling first and you know she'll bowl at the end you can go with jess johnson or you can mm. go with alana king if you feel she'll bowl second and you know have a good score to defend so that is from australia based on toss as well uh from india i'll give you two options again because it's the first game you can have an extra bonus if you want to call it that uh similar a name that we discussed before radha yadav again she she is very disciplined some when she gets it right you know she gets it and she is very good fielder as well so uh mm. you want to capitalize on all those points from wherever you can get them the next pick is anjali sarwani i hope she gets a game 
she has been the, she was leading wicket taker in the recently concluded uh, senior women's t20 tournament so she is in form you want those wickets up top so let's see how uh, she is used if she gets a game i'll be very tempted to have her in the side as well right those are some very interesting picks from nikhil why up in is you missed out uh, alana king rayadav and anjali sarvani and now over to my picks i'm going to make two of them and i'm going to keep it simple i'm going with heather graham because you saw her form in the bbl in the wbbl i don't know if she'll get a game but again if she gets a game she's someone who gets a lot of her wickets caught square at the square boundaries and that's a possibility here she has a very strong batting game down the ground which again will be of good use even if there is some sort of grip in the pitch and uh, from india my pick is devika vedya if she plays again so both of my picks are very conditional to if they play or not but uh, like we spoke about radha yadav if she plays then she and if she bowls first then she is a potential vice captain she choice for me in this specific game Yes, I think just one thing to keep in mind. Whenever you see teams like Australia, England play, uh, you know this format, they often go with a lot of options with both bat and ball. So, so you just have to be very sure of picking the bowlers in your main small league combination if you are playing small leagues, because it could easily happen that Gardner could bowl just one over, and other the bowler that you have not picked mm-hmm. could end up bowling four and take a lot of wickets as well. So I'll say in the first game. go with multiple combinations try out most of the guys that we have discussed most of the batters and bowlers that we have discussed and then once the tournament is set in you will have a better idea of the conditions because they'll all at one venue three games and two games so it will be easier for you to then have a better understanding and take your risk out accordingly yes absolutely and before we sum up the preview keep in mind that you take part in the investment leader board this is valid for all the india games which means it's going to be valid for this game and for this whole series too so ensure that you take part exclusively on the fan to play app and we'll see you all on the next preview thank you so much for tuning in and have a great game have a good game guys